Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at calculating confidence intervals for sample proportions. So we know that our confidence interval in general would be taken by taking our point estimate. In this case, that's going to be p hat, which is calculated by the number of successes divided by the number in your sample, or x over n, and adding and subtracting to that our margin of error. For proportions, our margin of error is calculated by taking a z critical value times the standard deviation for the distribution of sample proportions. So that sigma for p hat is calculated by taking the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat divided by n, where again p hat is x over n and 1 minus p hat would just be 1 minus that value. For our z critical values, we can use z score calculation, so that would be inverse normal, and we take the area in the tail that is left over by putting our confidence level as the area in the middle. So let's say we wanted to be, let's say 70% confident then that would leave 1 minus 0.7 in each of, or in the tails, and then taking that in half, that would be 0.15 in each tail. We can use inverse normal and feed the area to the left, which would be 0.15, and zero for the mean, one for the standard deviation, and that would give us our confidence level there. It can be helpful to memorize a few of the common critical z-scores for usual levels of confidence. So I've listed those here for you. Okay, so let's take a look at calculating. So let's say the New York Times and CBS News conducted a nationwide poll of 1,048 randomly selected 13 to 17 year olds. We can consider that sample to be a simple random sample. Of these 1,048 teenagers, 786 said they had a television in their room. We want to create a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of all people in that age group who had a TV in their room at the time of the poll. So our confidence interval will be calculated by taking p hat and adding or subtracting our margin of error. So let's start by calculating p hat. p hat will be the number of successes divided by the number in our sample. We had 1,048 teenagers in our sample, and 786 of them said that they had a television in their room. So calculating that, we get 0.75, or exactly, in this case, 75% as our sample proportion. For our margin of error in this case, our margin of error will be our z critical value times the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat divided by n. Since we are using a 95% confidence level, our z critical value will be 1.96. We're going to multiply that by our p hat is 0.75 times 1 minus 0.75, all divided by n, or the number in our sample. So that gives us 0 0.026. So our margin of error is 0 0.026. Back up here to put that together, that makes our confidence interval 0.75 plus or minus 0.026. So taking 0.75 and subtracting 0.026, I get 0.724. And taking 0.75 and adding 0.026, I get 0.776. So there's our interval. We want to report that using the confidence level, the interval, and the context of the problem. So we'll say we are 95%
confident that the true proportion of 13 to 17 year olds with a television in their room is between 0.724 and 0.776. All right, guys, that does it for this video on calculating confidence intervals for proportions. We'll catch you in a future one.